फाइव सेकेंड्स टू गो स्टार्ट दिस अपील अराइजेज फ्रॉम एन ऑर्डर डेटेड सेकेंड मार्च टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू ऑफ ए सिंगल जज ऑफ द हाई कोर्ट ऑफ डेली इन बेल एप्लीकेशन नंबर वन नाइन्टी सिक्स ऑफ टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू द सेकेंड रिस्पोंडेंट इज फेसिंग ट्रायल इन कनेक्शन विद एफ आई आर नंबर एट नाइन्टी फोर ऑफ टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन डेटेड एटीन नवंबर टू थाउजेंड फोर्टीन फॉर अलेज ऑफेंसिस पनिशेबल अंडर सेक्शंस थ्री सिक्सटी थ्री थ्री सिक्सटी फोर ए थ्री हंड्रेड टू एंड टू हंड्रेड वन रेडविच सेक्शन थर्टी फोर ऑफ द इंडियन पिनल कोड एटीन सिक्सटी रजिस्टर्ड एट पुलिस स्टेशन गांधीनगर डिस्ट्रिक्ट ईस्ट डेली फॉलोइंग द सबमिशन ऑफ द चार्जशीट अंडर सेक्शन वन सेवेंटी थ्री ऑफ द कोड ऑफ क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर नाइनटीन सेवेंटी थ्री चार्जिज हैव बिन फ्रेम्ड इलेवन प्रोसिक्यूशन विटनेसिस हैव बिन एग्जामिन The appellants are the parents of the deceased who was a 13 year old class 8 student. The case of the prosecution is that he was kidnapped for a ransom of rupees 1 crore and his dead body was recovered from a nala day after the kidnapping of the child. The second respondent was arrested on 25th November 2014 and was in custody except for the period when he was released on interim bail until 2nd march 2022 dr menaka guru swami senior counsel appearing on behalf of the appellants submits that the high court has proceeded on a manifestly erroneous premise that pw3 urvashi who deposed during the course of the trial is an approver crucial witnesses including pw15 the caretaker and pw16 the landlady remain to be examined the material which has emerged during the course of the investigation and the trial would militate against the grant of bail and the high court has proceeded on the erroneous premise that besides the testimony of pw3 no other witness has been cited as against the second respondent mr siddhartha dave senior counsel appearing on behalf of the second respondent on the other hand urged that the second respondent was in custody for over a period of 6 years considering the fact that only 11 out of 55 witnesses have been examined at the trial the order granting bail does not warrant interference the second respondent had furnished his voice sample unlike the co accused who had refused to do so and the report of the forensic science laboratory has not been produced on the record pw3 who has turned hostile is a witness in the nature of an accomplice since according to the prosecution she was present at the premises where the child was brought the cold data records do not specifically pinpoint the location of the second respondent and on the above grounds and having regard to the period of custody undergone there is no valid reason for this court to interfere with the order granting bail the submissions which have been urged on behalf of the appellants have been supported both in the counter affidavit which has been filed by the ncit of delhi as well as during the course of the submissions by mr jayant k sood additional solicitor general for the nct of delhi stop